All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we've been waiting for. We got the main event. We're looking at a B-class MMA featherweight bout. Give it up. This is the main event. Out of the blue corner, from the FOB squad, Ina Lenu. Here she comes, give it up! Ina Lenu! All right, here we are, main event of the evening. Fight number 20. It's uh, quite different from the last walkout, that's for sure. Yep, last walkout we had... Um, Chaos. Oh, yep, <laughs> that's one word to describe it. This is another person from the um, from Fob, Fob squad. squad. Yeah. Do you know where that gym is based? Uh, I think it might be on the south side of Brisbane. I'm not 100%, yeah. but I think it's on the south side of Brisbane. Yeah. There's been some pretty calm walkout songs. Yeah, I love the calm walkout songs. Although it's getting pretty late, it's definitely past Michael Kennedy's bedtime. It's yep. past my bedtime, to be fair. <laughs> True. I think it's past everyone's bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> Me. I genuinely thought he told me to get up in the cage for a second. He's calling you out, bro. He wants a piece of smart cookie Kennedy. Smart cookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aren't you supposed to have like a badass nickname? That is a badass nickname. Smart cookie. <laughs> Don't be so ungrateful, Michael I, I'm Kennedy. I'm very grateful, Elliot Compton. I'm very grateful. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Give it up for Ina Lenu! And from the red corner, from Southside MMA! Give it up for Chiquita Levine! I'm too smart for you now. I know you cheeks, you've got me like twice today. That's true. She's got the Muay Thai. Yeah, the Mong Kong. I see that. Yep. Yeah. This is a um, MMA it's fight. Big class MMA fight. Three by four minute rounds. Yep. Here we go. There she is, ladies and gentlemen, Takeda Levine.
How do you see this one going down, Michael Kennedy? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. I don't really know much from um, either of these fighters. <laughs> but from what I've seen of the FOB squad is that they're very, um, they're very aggressive. Yeah. So I'm not sure how, I'm not sure how it's got to go down. I'm expecting like an aggressive fight, of course. Yeah, Quick, definitely. Aggressive. We've clearly got a, uh, a big fan base in attendance here. Yep. All right, everybody, this is what we've been waiting for. This is a featherweight bout, main event, and the women are leading the way. Give it up. Give it up for the main event. That's right. Looks like Out of the a blue corner. Size, uh, disparity here Again from two. Fob Squad, yeah. Ina. Lenu! And in the red corner, coming from Southside MMA, Chiquita Lovin! All right, Michael Kennedy, how you see this going down? Let's go! Um, I'm so pumped I can't stand myself. Let's go! Okay, all right, I thought you might have changed between now and then. I don't know. I think they're both going to start hard. I think they're yeah. both going to bring that heat right from the start, try and intimidate the other one and push him back, put him on the back foot, try and take control of the fight early on. Yep, no, I agree. I think we're going to see Chiquita Ch Ch use a lot more kicks. Yep. Well, there we go, straight away. And I, I reckon this first, fight, uh, if the, this first round sort of got to anticipate how the rest of the fight's going to go. Oh. If this first round goes through. Yeah, right. I was thinking. Thank you. Thank you, Elliot Compton. Reverse off the cage there. Yeah, I, I think uh, from, from from what I gather, it seems like uh, Chiquita wants to take it to the ground, but Ina wants yeah. to keep it standing. Wants to use that, that aggression that you spoke about before the fight and uh, and, and keep throwing those bombs. Um, yeah. Chiquita is happy to, to keep it long, use those kicks, and then uh, bridge the gap and try and take it down, as we've just seen in this first couple yeah. exchange here. So she's got the single leg here. She might. Might yep. be able to swing her down from it. I think she's looking for more of a double leg, trying to get those legs together. Yeah, looks like. Yep. She needs that knee closer to the other knee. Oh. Good defense from Ina yeah, here. Nice turn. Defense. Yeah. You see her start to uh, start to break off and maybe look to use her striking now. Nice knees there. Couple of inside knees. That's a pretty big crowd. That is a big crowd. Considering we all just got kicked out because there was a fire in here as well. Yep. Yes. Yes, again. This could be a takedown here. Still plenty of time left in this round. All right, let's go. Yep. Let's get him going. Minute 40 left. Who's got... The red corner. Who's going for the red corner? Go, 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 go. 
And this is where we're going to start to see some of these bombs Whoa, get thrown these here girls from, are hitting uh, hard. Yeah, from Ina. But again, straight back to that clinch position. I think uh, Chiquita felt her power early corner. on, and she, she doesn't want to stand there and trade at that range. Looks like she might even be cut across the bridge of the nose there. It's hard to see from this angle, but I think she might have a, a slight cut or even just a graze uh, across the bridge of the nose. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Get your head in there, Anna. Oh, nice, nice right hand there. on the break. Chiquita's got to do more of this. She's got to be active All in that right there. She's got to make it count. Who's getting up to that red corner? Who's for Chiquita? Pinning her against the fence is good, but as long as she's active, she's scoring oh, knees and she's love, controlling. She has, to, she has to do more in that Nina. position. Yeah. There's a big bomb flying early here. 30 seconds. 30, 30 seconds, seconds, seconds up from the first round. Short shots. Short shots. 25 seconds left. No, no, Could be like a hip toss. Let him hear it. Yeah, we need the under attack. 15 seconds. Oh, oh. First takedown of the evening to Chiquita. Good way to finish on top. She's got 10 seconds to do some damage here. Can she get a ref stoppage? She got. Woo! All right. We have a hell of a second round coming, don't we? But just to clarify, that wasn't a ref stoppage. That was the end of the round. Yeah. That was a close, that was a close round. Wouldn't have took long for that stoppage to come in place. I want to thank everybody for bringing that energy back. I want to thank everybody for coming back. We're bringing you nothing but heart and soul at Beast Championships. As far as that so first it looks round, like Chiquita's actually cut across the top of the eyebrow there. I can't see because the, the corner is blocking my vision yeah. from here, but she's got the cut man working there. So that, the first that round. raise she that we thought was across the bridge in the nose. She has, she had, um, before this fight even started, she Chiquita had a, um, got the first the forehead. Round. Give it up. Okay, right. so maybe it's reopened up. Yeah. It's hard to see from this angle, but... Uh, she has, yeah, I was unsure on what that was, but, um, yeah. might just be a mark from, like, yeah. um, I don't know. Cap. That's right, let him hear you. Definitely some sort of mark on the inside of her nose there. I don't think it's anything to be worried about. Yeah. Deducted. All right, we have a minus one point deduction. Four. And that's due to not making the weight cut. Oh, uh, the weight cut. Oh, okay, so she missed weight, so she got penalized one point because she missed weight. Yeah. Woo, they started with a fire. Ina's coming out hard. Tell you what, taking a point away to start of round two is one way to get the fight started in round yeah. two again, huh? <laughs> Another takedown from Chiquita here. Let's see what she can do with this now. Transition straight up. Oh. She went for the guillotine. Get, get him up! I don't think she's going to get it from that position. These Ina's starting to look a little bit effort. fatigued here. I think uh, just uh, carrying the weight of Chiquita for the last yeah. round is uh, really starting to take its toll on her, especially if she had a tough weight cut. She didn't quite make the weight allowance. You know that she would have been in that sauna for a long time trying to make it, so... Yeah. So going to take her back here. She's uh, not her, careful. Her oh. Clothes are stuck to the cage, yeah. I'm not sure how that happened. I've never seen that happen before. Yeah, I'm not sure how it happened. This is a battle, ladies and gentlemen. She's around those hips. She's going to pick her up. Or she's going to suck her off back off the cage. Ina's got to get on one hip here. She can't allow Chiquita just to keep both those Ina's shoulders flat on the mat. Yeah. She needs to get on. She better needs to get on her left hip and start she using the cage to rebuild and get back to her feet. Yeah, there we go. Right. That's better. So she's going to try and she's got that underhook. She's going to try and come out the back door, but Chiquita's got that wizard there, which is going to stop her from coming out the back. 
but she's got to start trying to get that knee underneath her, get that elbow, and start rebuilding from that position. Yep. Back into half guard. That's it, that's it. She's going to take the back here. Looks like she's going to cinch that choke in. I think she's under the chin there. Well, I can't quite see. Supporters. Oh, she is under the chin. She's under the chin, but can she finish it? She's got plenty of time. She just doesn't need to rush it. Nina's battling back. Nina needs to just start trying to shake her off. Shake, it, shake her forward towards the mat. Keep trying to shake her off. And fight the grips. Oh, was that a tap? Or? No, that was a punch. Yeah. She needs to grab that choking hand and pull it down. Yeah. Wow, oh, ladies and gentlemen, what a scramble. Shakira's fighting to get that second Top hook in. There it is. MMA now she's in trouble. She's just trying to flatten her out from here and take that movement away from her. If she can flatten her out, that's it. Keep shaking her off. If Ina can shake her off from that position oh, and didn't. sink low, it's hard to finish that, that choke if she sinks low or if she arches back, tries yeah. to touch her head to the mat. Stay, staying there is not going to help her. She really needs to bridge up high. Now she's on top. Now she's on top, which, finish here. which in some ways could be a better position for Ina. She's probably got a better chance of escaping this than escaping a choke with double hooks in. Yeah. Chakrita's got that high mount this now. You see Ina's trying to control those biceps, but she's just not. She's giving up her back. She's going to put those hooks in. She's going to flatten her out, and then she's going to cinch that choke in. She's got 15 seconds to survive the round. 10 seconds. Very, very yeah, dominant round for Chiquita here. Yeah. Oh, hard determination. And both girls got a smile on their face. Give it up. What do you think, Michael Kennedy? How, what have these I mean, girls got to do round three to it for... But Ina to, to, to take this win home, what's she got to do? Right, she's really got to get a stop. She's got to get either a knockout yeah. or a submission. I don't even. I don't think who's a 10 8 round Ina? is even going to do it. I think if she gets a 10 8 round, she um, might get a draw. Right, but she, she really needs to finish to, to win this. I believe Ina's going to have to get a. Probably a knockout at this point because yep. I feel like she's got heavier coming, striking coming than um, Jaquita does. Yep. Jaquita's obviously it. got more groundwork, better off. So I reckon it's either Jaquita will finish it from the ground and get a submission or. Um, Ina from the FOB squad will get a KO possibly in this round. Yep. Or if possibly gets a reversal on top from ground. Yep. Could ground and pound finish it. Third and final round. Ina's coach calling for her to let her hands go here. I think. Uh... What's happening here? What is she? What is she lose a point for? Is, that, is it minus one point every round? Surely not. That's, uh, I mean, I guess it depends on how much weight she missed by, but yeah. I mean, by that logic, she, she's lost every this round before the fight even the starts, you know? Yeah. Nice clean punches. Just what her coach has been calling for. She's just got to pick her timing on this now. Chiquita needs to pick her timing and hit that level change, go underneath her, put it on, on her back again. Nina's coming on strong. Ooh, nice takedown from Chiquita. Dominant position here. This is exactly where Ina didn't want to be. Your boy let her here, supporter. Oh, she's, she's got gonna give up her back chin. here. It's under the chin. It's under the chin. She doesn't even. Give it up. Give it up. I think we might be done here. I think yeah. this is this is in pretty tight.
She's been flattened down as well. Where's Takeda supporters? I don't think she's got it under the chin. I think she's across the chin. I can't see from this angle, but I think she, uh, I think Ian's doing a pretty good job of defending this. Still plenty of time left in this round. She just needs to take her time, not rush things. She can get those hooks in, look to flatten her out, and just take her time. There's no need to rush this now. She's still got two minutes left on the clock. What a hell of a technical fight. Let him hear it. Last minutes. That's it, last minute. Get on your feet. Bring him home. Get on your feet. Bring him home. He needs to make sure that she keeps fighting those groups, fighting those hands. Let's get, get the two on one. Oh, she's transitioned back to mount, back to back again. Yeah. Chiquita's got to flatten her out. If she can flatten her out, I think she'll finish this choke. She's, allow she's allowing oh, Ina to move. She's allowing Ina to have that freedom of her hips. But he's given her just enough to be able to... Uh, well, they might call the ground and pound if yeah, she's not she's defending quit herself. Here. Yeah. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. She should slam her now. <laughs> After the fight, just chuck her straight over the cage. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> uh, another great fight to end the evening here. A bit of uh, a bit of drama with the fire alarms going off, but man, what a, what a great fight to end a great show. Do you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Full of action-packed things. Action-packed things. 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 Yeah. yeah. Not stuff. Things. Things. Yeah, right. All right, okay. ladies and gentlemen, give it up. That was the hell of a contest. We've got the fire alarm. We've got the fights. Exactly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the main event. All right, we have our winner by submission in the red corner from Southside MMA, Jaquita Levine. Hey, and if you don't mind, come on over here and I'll interview you first. Hell of an effort. Everybody's proud of you. You showed the heart of a lion, never giving up, always having a smile on your face, best attitude. What was the experience like coming and fighting for beasts? Um, if I'm being honest, preparing for this fight was really, really hard. I put my focus I put everything into preparing for this fight. I got up to, I'm embarrassed to say, not because of my weight, but because I let myself go. Got, down, got up to 89 kgs when this fight came through. I, I'm a woman of my word and I said, I'm gonna do it. Um, and I'll get down to that weight, but I didn't. Yeah, give it up, give it up, I'm telling you. It's not easy. It's not easy trying to be a fighter. Everybody wants to be a fighter, but to do something like that, you actually have to go out and do it. And can I say one more thing? I like to be honest in everything that I do. So not only tonight was Kita the winner, but she is also a champ for still taking this fight through, even though I didn't make the way. So. Whoa, I, I'll tell you what. Thank you. Give it up. Give it up. She's a champ. You come in this cage, everybody's a champ. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to call your fight. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Give it up. Chiquita, would you mind coming over? Clearly the crowd favorite. You came in here, you were really focused on what you wanted to do. What was your ideas coming into this fight? What did you expect? To be honest, I wanted to strike. She hits hard. She hits really, really hard. So wrestling's next, works in my favor. So today, this was a really, really tough camp. It was a long camp, but I've got an army, so I can't disappoint my army. 
you showed your resilience. Yep, she did come at you with a, some leg kicks and some, head, and some head strikes. Did she surprise you with anything other than the power that she had in her hands? Uh, definitely movement. I think um, I was a little bit more stiff. My head wasn't moving as much, so I'm pretty sure you just gave me my first black eye, but I'll claim it. Um, it that, I was not expecting that at all, so that was, it was fun to kind of get thrown in the deep end and just figure it out. And she pushed you all the way to the third round. I didn't think she was going to give up, but she finally tapped out. Is that what you expected, or did you expect to go through the whole fight? I, I think the distance. I was, whew, I was definitely looking for the distance, but, you know, she's got that island of blood in her, so I knew it was going to go the distance. Yeah, I'm from Hawaii, so I know about that island of blood. Give it up for your winner, Chiquita Lavin! Go ahead. Just quickly, I want to thank everybody that came tonight, all of my army, my crew, my team. I want to thank my team the most. You guys are there for the tantrums, the ups, the lows, so thank you very much. Awesome. Absolute humility here at Beach Championships. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do we have anything more to say? What a hell of a fight. Hey, what a hell of an evening. Thank you all for coming back. Drive safe. Get home. God bless.